while you're fast asleep, the men of the Claxton Bay Fishing Depot are working under a most beautiful spotlight. Good Friday nails, and they have a country to feed. You can't really tell the story of a fisherman without going out to sea. So here we are, another four o'clock morning, and we're going to see exactly what goes on when these guys cast off. We're heading just off the coast of Labre. The fishing has been steadily getting better over the past few months, and especially good over the past few days. So we're hoping for a good catch. Our guides, with their colorful names like Bullet, Gandhi, and Ninja, tell us they've spotted a few porpoises the past few mornings, which means fishing is bad for out to sea, and they're coming in shallower waters to hunt. And sure enough, as dawn breaks over the Gulf of Paria, we're joined by the playful mammals who follow our boat and give us quite the show. But the fishermen aren't happy. So what's great for us that we're seeing a bunch of porpoises or, or dolphins, the problem with them is they actually destroy the nets and they run the fish away from where we want to be. So good for us, bad for them. But there's not much time to be upset. There's a school of mullet in the water and they have to make a choice. Go for it and risk the porpoises destroying the net or forget it and move on. You feel like a push by? But these guys don't play, they're going for it. The two boats combine nets and then take off in separate directions, forming a circle around the fish, trapping them inside. Now it's time to see what we got. To celebrate the hard work, my cameraman Brendan gets in on the action, realizing the hard way that the fishermen are only making it look easy. And as if it wasn't bad enough that the men of the sea have to contend with high winds and porpoises today, there are a few party crashers trying to get an easy meal. But it's okay. The pelicans usually guide them to the schools of fish. So for the birds, it's a meal well deserved. I'm going up, baby. Most of the time, I'm going up. Yeah, yeah, what's about? We barely have time to appreciate the fruits of our labor before it's time to go again. But they're not excited. This is one run too many. Yeah, sometimes we only turn one leg, but you see two other purpose and they split up. Yeah. You have to make a two leg and thing and now where the wind raises. Yeah, um, walk in this kind of weather. It's still impressive. After two hauls, we have about 2,500 pounds in between the two boats. What surprises me is almost none of the fish we've caught is going to be consumed locally. Oh, let's go, let's, let's carry out this shipping out of the that is going down here with this, some. People from, people from serious come and they can have this and then go down the main and carry down this and they are customers, they sell them more, more better than carry it and, and thing, thing. It's the same wallet, outside it. But we just, people over here that get getting them um, carry it and and show, so they have customers them can't name. But the waters off of Claxton Bay have a dark history. In August 2010, a group of pirates attacked three fishermen who were doing some night fishing. They were all thrown overboard. Only one survived. I find out that this is the same boat that was attacked. All three of them get thrown out. They beg for the last because one man can't show it, he can't swim. And I decided to throw them out. In the time since then, there haven't been any new measures taken to protect themselves. There are life jackets on board, but no shortwave radios, radars, or GPS. Only their cell phones. But we have phone hunting. But well, you see what happened when that happens, when that happens so suddenly, you, you get a chance to do nothing. All you do is to try to save yourself. Because when I embrace your body and it's a bandit, you can't go to the pin your back for phone. But for today, Good Friday at least, they can take a rest in honor of their friends who pass. I just go to work on Good Friday. So I wake up, I work Saturday and Sunday. So I don't work on Good Friday, the, the superstition? Or? No, no, Good Friday and Black Friday, I just go to work on Black, uh, Black Friday and then I, where they get killed. Uh. 
So there's no walk on no Black Friday and it's not Friday that Bono walks. It's been an eye-opening morning for us. We leave with a sense of fulfillment and a cup of fish for our dinner. Kijan Haynes, TV6 News.